Good morning everyone from uh, Terminal 5 Heathrow Airport. Starting off with a cup of tea. Uh, as uh, being British, that's what we normally do. Well, uh, I just want to say hello again to everyone. Uh, those of you who were sort of checking out my videos earlier from uh, the last time I was here uh, on the last rotation. Uh, you know that I, I was experimenting a little bit with uh, this uh, live video feed just to pass a little bit of time and give uh, family and friends an update as to uh, what I get up to on my um, 17 days away. Anyway, starting day one today, we just come down from Manchester on a British Airways flight. Um, hi, good morning. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? And um, yeah, so we've got four hours to kill here in Heathrow before my next leg to uh, New York, um, which departs at uh, 3.30 local time in London. Um, so this is probably my um, third breakfast I'm having, <clears throat> just to pass the time actually. Uh, tea and toast is on its way. Um, I've decided to uh, skip a full lunch, partly because my uh, middle section seems to be growing quicker than anything else. Anyway, how is everyone? I'm very well, thank you. Um, it's been a fairly busy morning uh, this morning, as usually is the day before we uh, set off for work, as uh, everyone at VistaJet will know. You don't normally find out where you're going until uh, the evening before, usually. And uh, then it's a case of just packing your stuff and checking the weather at destinations. I can say New York's uh, looking quite well, actually, at the moment. It's around 20 degrees, and uh, over the next couple of days, it's even touching 30 with some thunderstorms. Uh, do I commute wearing my uniform? Uh, in the days of COVID, yes, I do. Uh, just makes travel a little bit easier, especially when you have to prove uh, your identity and the reason of travel. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easy just to get through the airports with uniform. Under normal conditions, no, I don't normally travel in uniform just because it's... Uh, thank you very much. But well, as my tour just arrived, thank you. Um, yeah, under normal conditions before COVID times, um, I didn't travel in uniform just because it was more comfortable without. Uh, but as I say, nowadays it just makes life a little bit easier. So how's everyone today? What are you up to? Uh, it's um, you know, a busy day, I guess, for most people. It's a working day, working week. And we have in the UK the bank holiday weekend coming up uh, next weekend, which uh, unfortunately I'm going to miss. I'm going to be away for, just as I was away for my birthday just a few weeks ago. But I'm looking forward to um, this rotation. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a pilot at all. This is just fancy dress, Steve. Are you travelling in fancy dress as well today? I just wonder. And where are you off to, please? Drop me a message. Um, yeah, so, um, as I say, um, just to uh, let you know what's happening, it'll be New York for a couple of days and then uh, flying passengers back to Europe. But uh, I'll give you the destination once, once we uh, arrive at destination in a couple of days' time. Other than that, everything's well. I'm looking forward to uh, providing some updates uh, as and when I can over the next 17 days. And I hope you'll all tune in for that. Uh, please feel free to ask me uh, any questions you like, and uh, I know my, some of my friends just keep pulling my leg with some really stupid questions, but that's absolutely fine, it does put a smile on my face, and it all makes it worthwhile. Uh, and I'll hopefully look forward to hearing where everybody is and what you're doing. Um, nothing much else to add, really, uh, just looking forward to some nice destinations, if at all possible. At the moment, uh, I haven't got anything fantastic lined up, it looks like it's going to be... Um, Europe, uh, the initial part of the rotation, and then uh, and Europe, Europe weather, certainly Northern Europe, isn't looking so good. Thanks, mate. I will enjoy New York for the couple of nights with their usual hotel, if you do end up going there, down at uh, Lower East Side, and uh, hopefully there's a couple of crews around just to say hello to. So um, I'll uh, bid farewell for now and enjoy my toast, and uh, try and pass the next three or four hours before we... Uh, board on to uh, New York with uh, British Airways. Did you join VistaJet as a direct entry captain? No, I didn't. Um, I was a captain with my previous airline, which was uh, Eastern Airways, um, and I was there for about seven and a half years. When I came to VistaJet, I joined as a first officer um, because I was lacking the uh, jet experience and also the worldwide experience, that um, you use, which is very handy, obviously, if you already have it. Uh, when you're working for an operation like this to Jet. 
So I spent about a year and a half in the uh, right seat, so then I was starting my upgrade training for the left seat and got my left seat in the middle of, um, I think it was the end of May 2016, so about five years now in the uh, left seat with Mr. Jet. Um, yes, there are people that do join direct entry if they've got the relevant uh, experience or type ratings, etc. Um, yes, any further questions, please feel free to drop me a private message and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, everyone, thank you very much. Have a lovely day and we'll catch up again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, sir. Hello.